Hello, welcome to more Sly Cooper featuring Bentley, the bowtie turtle. Tortoise? Probably a tortoise. Um, who are making those sus noises? We're all set to go to Mesa City. Oh, Murray. I just heard like grunting and stuff for like the past I don't know how long while well, I had this I was waiting here to start wait what happens if we interact with him oh okay we're all set to Pretty go legit. to Mesa City we're set to go to Mesa City got it Uh, hey Kiko and Sally and Double Below, how's it going? Slui Caper, the Booty's Curse. Yep, that's the name of this game, alright. How did you know? We're all set to go to Mesa Alright, we're going to Mesa City. I thought we needed to go to Utah. Is that in is that is Mesa been a City while in Utah? Been back in the US. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish thigh. Mugshot. He, brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. It's a pretty Turns sick criminal name. Oh. He grew up as the run of the litter. Damn. <laughs> the Look at that little nerd. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. The dog father? It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. So he watched The Godfather, and that's what inspired him. Working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With Dude, that is just like The Godfather. He was a giant buff man. He'd become a hard-boiled, street brawling I'm doing well, Sally. Hope you're having a good night. So he's holed up in Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. Chica says, Slay Caper, Raccoon to the Moon. Sly Cooper in Sunset Snake Eyes. That's pretty sick. I do actually like the title cards. That's a, a cool way to introduce a new chapter. Alright, the controls are good. I still wish the camera didn't have inverted controls. I, just, I, I really would prefer if it didn't. As in, like, I press right and it goes left, or left and it goes right. I really prefer left to be left and right to right. Instinctively, that's what I always try to do. Uh, the villain origin stories be the saddest. I mean, you're not wrong, especially if you look at villains like uh, like Batman. Pretty much every Batman villain has a tragic backstory to one extent or another that's kind of the whole thing that makes the Joker special in most cases is that 99% of Batman villains are are sympathetic to a degree but the Joker isn't he's just an asshole there, there's no reason to feel sympathy for that guy I'm not even sure if that's how I was supposed to jump over that but that's how I jumped over that Oh, whoops. Okay. I forgot you have to, like, hit circle to, uh... Like... Wait. Hold up. I got this. There we go. I just turned around. I definitely wasn't supposed to get around that door that way. 
Something's happened. Where is everyone? Was it Kiko? Kiko said, "Hang on, let me let me wait for this to end." And miss all the fun. Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the ninja spire jump? You mean the ninja spire jump? I think I just did it by accident, actually. Diminutive points. Leapeth lively and presses the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. Right. Well, that's funny. I literally just figured that out by accident because I went backwards. Anyways, Kiko says Joker does have a sympathetic origin story. Have you read The Killing Joke? I have, and I know exactly what you're talking about. And that's fine, but to, to me, that's not what the like quintessential joke Joker should be. The Joker shouldn't really have one definite sympathetic backstory because that kind of takes away from his whole character, like of him standing out as like the one Batman villain that's just pure chaos for the sake of chaos. So my my interpretation of that would be the Joker has many backstories that he... I mean, he said it himself that he's he makes up his backstory. And to me, that's just one of those many possible backstories that he said. Uh... Which is funny, because now that I think about it, they kind of do that in the even in the Dark Knight movies, don't they? It, doesn't he like make up the origin to his scars like a few different times? I never really thought about that till right now. Wait a minute. Probably missing some stuff. Yeah, I think there's even like a quote where Joker said something like... Uh, how does it go? He's like... If I if I were to have a back... an origin story, I would prefer it be multiple choice or something. There's been a lot of like allusions to... Uh... Man, I'm never sure which way... I want to go. Okay, well, let's chill. Jesus. Oh no! <sighs> so I can't swim, by the way. Jack Nicholson is the best Batman, says uh, Double O. You mean the best Joker? <laughs> um, I, I, I actually liked... Like, okay, I haven't seen it in a long time, but I actually did enjoy the, the first Tim Burton Batman movie, from what I remember. I know that it had like stuff wrong with it, but it, it 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 actually like set the tone for like a dark a darker Batman, and it, it like heavily inspired the animated series, which is like one of the best versions of Batman. So it's like you got to give it that. If I'm to have a pass, I prefer it be multiple choice. There you go. I mean, there's been like a lot of stuff because there was even like. There's a storyline where Batman gets the Mobius chair. And, uh... The Mobius chair being this, like... Godlike device... That... You can literally, like, teleport anywhere with it. You can time travel with it. You can access, like... Mo like, pretty much knowledge about anything using it. And uh, Batman got use of it, and he was like, okay, I'm gonna figure out the Joker. All right, let's see who the Joker is. And he looked into it, and he just like, it, it kind of just drove him crazy when he found out who the Joker was. I forget if he's like, he starts crying or if, I forget what happens. And of course it's kind of a cop out because they still don't explain. I don't think they explained what he saw exactly.
The Mobius chair shows him multiple jokers. Oh, okay. I get well. They might have expanded upon that because I think I kind of know what you're talking about. That, that, I mean, that's kind of. I, I do remember that now, actually. I had forgotten that they actually did elaborate on that later. That's kind of lame, though, because it's like, really, that's what made Batman so upset that there's more than one Joker. That's. Like, that's. That's not. It's pretty unchill, but at the same time, it's like, that's. Batman, grow up, come on. I'm trying to remember. Hang on. There we go. We want the dive attack. Yeah. I'm gonna go up here. So, I, I need to. I keep thinking I'm missing something over there, but I'm not sure. Hmm, hard to tell. Because the only reason I'm being so thorough here is because if you get all the clue bottles, then you can uh, unlock like new moves and stuff. Oh, when did I get that attack? I legit do not remember having that dive bomb. Sometimes Bruce acts like such a little kid and it bugs me. I mean, he still is a little kid inside. If you really think about it. Uh, Garfield is the Joker to Sly Cooper's Batman, oh god. Okay, why is my controller like... Cutting out. It needs to stop doing that. I commanded to stop cutting out. There's nothing up here, is there? I already got everything. I'm a dingus. Oh well. Oh no, that's right. I was just supposed to take the tires back to where I came from. What the? Okay, you're supposed to, you're supposed to hit circle to like hook on to like objects that you can grab onto, but for some reason I'm just having trouble right there. But if that's just leading me back to where I came from, then I guess we're done with that spot. Anyway, I was gonna say, there's another, uh... Comic... Does anyone remember, uh... What's his name, like, mix it Plix it or whatever his name is? It's like this, it's a Superman villain. Where he's from, like... He's from, like, the sixth dimension or something. Or seventh dimension or something like that. And basically where he comes from, all be all like the beings from his dimension are like omnipotent, pretty much. Like they can do anything. They just have these goblet powers. And he uh they all hate him. Because he kinda sucks. He's kind of annoying. And uh so he gets punished. And I think I think they like banish him to uh, our dimension, which would be the would be the third dimension or the fourth dimension. I forget. Uh, whatever the case, they banish him here. So here he's still pretty much like a god. He could pretty much do anything. They they might have like limited his powers a bit. I forget. But basically, the idea is that he's this omnipotent. Uh. He's this omnipotent being for the most part, but he's a he's a he's a jokester. He's a prankster. Like, he's not trying to take over the world, he's not trying to kill people, but he loves just being annoying and getting on people's nerves, especially Superman's. Like he hates Superman, so he likes messing with him. And uh uh hey Fak, how's it going? Sorry I'm late, I had to make a sacrifice to a deer god or something. Um, you, you missed it, fact. Right at the start, I sequence broke something. It was kind of funny. Uh, I'll explain it in a second. But anyways, so, there's a comic where mix it, plicks it For some reason, he, th he thinks it would be funny. What's with those flashing oh, hang on. What's going the on here? latest in high-tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step Let me guess, I need to have... Enough keys to break it or something. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. Ah, okay. 
Wait, wait, so you only want to step on the yellow lines? That's weird. Oh, or, or no. It's just they're safe when they're... F that's just weird, because usually that's not how video game rules work at all. But anyway, so... Mixer Plicket, for some reason, he thinks it's a, it'll be a good idea to give the Joker 1% or 0.1% of his power. I don't know his reasoning. Okay, for some reason I thought I could jump to that. Um, and somehow the Joker tricks him into giving him 99.9% .9 of his power instead. I... I, I don't even remember how that happens, but that's what he does. And so the Joker basically like just becomes this like omnipotent god, and he's just like torturing the Justice League and everyone, and just making their lives hell. Like I think he's like forcing Batman to relive his parents getting shot over and over again, or something like that. And no one can stop him because, you know, he's got Mixy Plix's power. But it's it's pretty it's pretty ridiculous. I think it's called Emperor Joker. It's a pretty crazy comic. All comics you could find online like really easily, by the way. So if you're interested in a comic, it's not that hard to find. Sir Mix a lot, clip looks it, tells Superman to get funky with it. Pretty much. You know what I just remembered? In the '90s animated Superman cartoon, uh, he's voiced by Gilbert Gottfried. Mr. Mixit plicks it. Uh, they're saying safe when they're off. I'm gonna say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I figured it out. It just threw me off when it said it's safe when it's flashing, because usually that's not the case. That's usually just the warning it's about to change. Anyway, the, the way I sequence broke is at the very start, there's a big wall, like a closed door that you're supposed to climb up. And instead I jumped around it. And then I ended up climbing up the wall like backwards. And then a cutscene triggered where like Sly had to turn around and turn his camera on. And then they taught me how to use this new ability. But I accidentally just used the new ability to get up the wall. Uh, it was this ability to land on a wire. Not on a wire, but on spots on a wi wire or whatever. And somehow I just figured that out by myself. And then he explained it to me afterwards. Was that dude like Gambit? Was he like throwing a deck of cards at me? I don't appreciate that, sir. How are you finding the Walter dimension? The Walter dimension? Is it because all the enemies are dogs in this one? What is that? There's like a sign with a cat on it, and it, but there's like blood on it too. But it's a happy cat. Weird. I swear they keep changing my dive move away. What the hell's going on? Also, fact, since when did I have this move? Whoops, hang on. This move. Since when the hell did I have that? Because I just figured out I had that randomly. I have no idea where it came from. I don't know if it's just part of the dive. They ran the cats out of town. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. I feel like my controller keeps, like, disconnecting intermittently. Yeah, see, it just did it again. Hang on.
Yep, I, I guess I must have hit the wire when I was messing with the controller wire. Because, you know, it's fun having wires that will just unplug if you so much as look at them too hard. Why do I have the roll? I swear, they keep like changing my moves and I, I don't press it. And it's starting to drive me crazy. And when a game reviewer goes crazy, the world burns. New Patreon goal, titanium wires. It's it's not even the wires though. I, I think it's just my USB slots are just garbage. I think they've always been bad. And I don't know if I just installed them wrong or I just got cheap ones. I don't know what is up with them, but oh my God. That doubled that air jump, man. So question, I know there's three of these games. Do they change the way that the air jump works at all? By any chance? Because it's it's like, I don't know if it's something I'm, I'm ever gonna get used to. Like I'm so inherently used to like lingering in the air for a bit and save, really saving up that second jump until the last second. And in this one, you, you cannot do that. New Patreon goal, Adamantium Walter. Oh god, no. He already causes enough problems as it is. Now watch this, if I double jump immediately... Oh, I still didn't make it. We'll see, I don't know then. <laughs> it's just a strangely difficult jump, I think. Oh! Well... I didn't think I had moved forward that much since... Let me look. Oh. Huh. I don't know. I guess I didn't realize I was under, I was under them. Better not freaking get a game over on the opening level. That'd just be sad. God damn it, I forgot it was circle there. Ah. For some reason I keep my my finger wants to keep hitting a different button. I don't know what game it's thinking of, but circle never feels right instinctively. Might be triangle because I'm already hitting triangle to do other things. I don't know. Oh, well. I don't know why I didn't die there, but that's fine. All right, let's try this again. Wow, I just cannot reach that damn hook. Any any tips here at all on what, what I'm doing wrong? Uh, is Sly Cooper like Diet Pepsi, RC Cola, Ratchet and Clank? I, I mean, from what I know, the games are completely different, but the, I always kind of thought of them as part of like the same category, because I always kind of thought as like all these PS2 games that I never had the chance to play because I didn't have a PS2. They always kind of get grouped together in my head. Oh my God, we made it that time. Maybe, it's, maybe I'm supposed to be holding the circle button instead of trying to hit it at a specific time. I felt like I kind of held it down more that, that time. Maybe that was something that I, I didn't quite get. Oh, great. Oh, boy. Yeah, let's not die before we get to another checkpoint.
I did get most of the clues, but not all of them. So, oh, we literally just missed one. Damn, I wonder where that was. Even if we did get it, we'd have to go like all the way back near the start of the level. I don't like, I don't... For the other levels, that makes sense, For but I don't even know how I would restart the opening level since they're not part of the hub, I don't think. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> Sally says Pepsi Man is the PlayStation mascot. You know, I didn't, I never thought of it that way, Sally, but I think you're exactly right. It was behind a car that was hard to describe in chat, well... But here's the thing, even if I had all the clues, what, what, what were you gonna expect me to go all the way back through that again? Hell no. So I don't, even if I had all the clues, I don't think I would've went back for that safe anyway. Unless if you go back this way, if it restarts from the start of the level, it looks like maybe it does. But... Ah, it's only one clue. And the safe is near the start of the level. So it's possible that... It would be fast to get. You know, I'm gonna look for it real quick. Oh no, it doesn't start you at the start of the level. Yeah, see, that's that's annoying because they really do make you work your way back to the safe. Okay, yeah, never mind. Oh well. It's really weird. It was one of those teetering cars. I didn't notice the teetering cars, so maybe that's why I didn't see the bottle. You drop down on it. I don't know. Well, this mugshot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chose to live in a giant fire hydrant. Okay. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a Seems way to legit. break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. I'm sure we'll think of something. It's over here. Oh, that's where we came from. I'm an idiot. Utah, famous for its unregulated gambling. Uh... It isn't, right? Isn't Utah famous for, like, having, like, a ton of Mormons or something? Is that a Ferris Bueller reference? Wait, what was the Ferris Bueller reference? I think I missed that. What the hell? How'd I get hurt? Okay, I found a key? Oh no, I was trying to unlock- I didn't even notice those locks right there. But I should have enough keys for that unless each- each, uh, location in the world... Yeah, they must use different keys. That makes sense. Utah's not a fan of gambling. That that sounds like logical to me. The car in reverse on blocks. Oh. Yeah. Uh yeah, it could be. I feel like I wasn't even near that car when you me mentioned a Ferris Bueller reference. What the heck, Pack? You have eagle eyes. Believe it or not, Utah is famous for having the most clogged toilets in the world. That sounds horrible. Sounds like they need Super Mario to help them out.
Murray's big gamble. You know what I, I've noticed as I'm playing this? So, you know, I don't have a ton of experience with a lot of PlayStation games, especially PS2 and beyond. And so this is me kind of playing a, a PS2 platformer possibly for the first time. I At least like I've done it extremely little over the years. I don't know how I feel about the the PlayStation joystick playing with playing platformers. It just doesn't. It feels weird to me. I don't know. It could be a mixture of this just kind of being an older game too, so it's maybe it doesn't have the tightest controls. But I feel like this would feel better with a different controller, actually. So I'm tempted to try out my my Switch Pro controller. To make a run for this key. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting station. Sweet. Use the left analog stick to aim and press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. Utah is on the gold standard. You can buy gold backs, new wave of fight, and gold becoming one. Oh, really? Did they give Murray jiggle physics? Oh! I didn't realize that was me. Whoops. Oh, God. Oh, no, even this is inverted. Well, up and down is, but they actually left is left and right is right. Who the heck? I'm actually curious. Like, do that many people actually prefer inverted controls when not playing, like, an airplane game or whatever? Because in that case, I, I understand it kind of makes sense because you're, you're thrusting, like, you're curving up. But for most games, if you're just like trying to look up or down, I prefer to like up is up, down is down. Sorry, Murray. Oh, where the hell did that guy come from? Sneaky. Oh, that hurts Murray too. Oh no. Damn it, I didn't re okay. I thought you were supposed to hit those to take out the bad guys. Okay, now I know. PS2 controller was only their second attempt at joysticks. Uh, yeah, I'm generally not a fan of how short their sticks are. Yeah, but PS1 through 5 joysticks are also pretty much exactly the same, aren't they? Not literally, but I mean, for the most part, the... the PlayStation controller is like the most unchanged controller of any uh, company. Well, Sally Acorn, I just have one question for you. And I, I want to know wh why in issue uh, 97 of Sonic the Hedgehog why is Murray dead? I wasn't looking at him. Oh, game over. Okay, cool. All right. PS2 sticks are domed compared to the PS4 sticks. Right. Like the actual rubber bits of your fingers go on, right? And it does honestly feel better. The ones that, uh, that are concave. Like the PS4 controller. I forget how the PS3 controller is. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know I hit Murray, but it was just weird because like I wasn't pointing at Murray. I was pointing at that guy. See, how did I hit that guy and Murray? That doesn't make sense. I don't know. Heck if I know, but now I know there's a dude gonna show up right here. Murray, get out the way. Maybe I should wait for him to start ducking. I'm halfway there. I halfway there. What? There was, that wasn't anything. Oh, they were trying to trick you. They were trying to trick you into shooting the explosives. I'm 
I'm not falling for it though. I thought that like the building was on fire for a second, but it's just lights. No! There it is, you got the key. Is that pink guy Barney? No, that's Murray. Double said I think the PS3 controller is too heavy. Really? I could have sworn I remembered it not like being pretty small, but I it's been a while since I used one. Okay, Kiko, alright. Okay. Uh, spell hippopotamus. I'd rather not. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus will do. I think I got shot. I think Sly's dead. Murray and Bentley get their own level as the series go on. Their own levels. Oh, that's cool. There's another level. The Boneyard. Boneyard Casino, even. That's a big daddy reference with Adam Sandler. The Hippopotamus and the Rhymosaurus. Oh, that's the the, ta the the show that the kid likes to watch, right? Man, I haven't seen Big Daddy in years. Back when people actually liked Adam Sandler movies. <laughs> and then something happened. Let's gamble. These guys aren't very smart, are they? Ah, I thought that there'd be like an AoE on that. Oh my god! When they get you, they like howl and start shooting in the air. I don't know how I feel about that. Look, Adam Sandler doing his thing is fine. We just oversaturated on Adam Sandler for a bit there. I don't know, like, I... Some people just say, like, oh, we, like, we just outgrew that type of stuff, and the old movies weren't that good either. But I feel like some of his newer ones legit were just really bad. Based on, like, from what I've seen of them. Oh, I didn't realize they could get me from up there. Alright, I guess we'll just have to do what I did the first time. Before I started to like... Damn. He became a Sony shill. I thought he was like a Netflix boy. Doesn't he have like a big deal with Netflix? And his movies are actually like some of the most watched movies on Netflix, crazily enough, too, on top of that. Man, like, I, I feel like I'm in mud, and I don't know if it's because of the controller or the game. Like, I'm just trying to go around the corner and I'm like... It's probably the controller. You know what? I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna see right now if I can get the Pro Controller to work with this.
I was trying my best to get like the uh I unplugged my mic instead of the controller because I'm a dummy. But, um. Uh, controllers. Now we just gotta hope that this, like, registers. This isn't gonna register, is it? I'm gonna look up real quick. Let me see here. Can't. Okay. Switch Pro Controller with PCSX2. Anybody use a pro console controller? It's direct input instead of X input, so it should pick up on its own if you turn on direct input on the pad settings. All right, so let's try that. Controller settings. Well, direct input is on. But it's not working. Uh, if it's not picking up a controller via direct input and you don't want to launch it through Steam, you should need, you should just need to grab a direct input to X input wrapper, like X 360 C. Uh, but they're saying launch through Steam, so maybe if I, no, I'd have to launch the whole game. Ah, never mind. I'll just keep using the PS4 controller. I j I thought maybe I could just plug it in and. Use the per controller, but if not, that's fine. It's just like the dead spot on my PS4 controller is especially rough when it comes to uh, platforming games, I think. 3D platforming games. With 2D platforming games, you could probably use the D-pad. Uh, oh, are you going to sleep, Sally? All right. Sally, what would happen if you got all the Chaos Emeralds? I would become Super Sally Acorn, the powerful Super Saiyan. Well, you know what? I've never, I've never, uh, thought about that, but if you say so, then I believe it. I believe you, Sally. Oh my god, I don't know where that other guy came from. That first time I was fine. Oh! I had... I'm... I can never tell when I have a horseshoe. Because it's like, I didn't have one last time, so why do I have one now? That always, like, gets me. I know you're supposed to have a glow or something, but I guess I, I never notice it. Or most of the time I don't notice it. Like every other time they were just killing me in one shot. There we go. There we go. Screw you guys. They show up on Slice's back. Oh, you're right. There is a horseshoe on his backpack. I never noticed that before. I probably just thought that was a design on his backpack or something.
Okay, what was that giant gold bone? I hope that wasn't a sick pickup. It looked like something I could have grabbed. Maybe not. You know what? I don't know if I'm gonna get all the clues in this place, so... God damn it, I got stuck on a wall. Alright, there we go. There's another horseshoe. So we get two horseshoes? Now it's a golden horseshoe. See, I did not notice that last time at all. Now I will know when I have two horseshoes or one horseshoe or... However many horseshoes. So that's good. And then we got an extra life too for our troubles. The music is out of tune. You mean like... What do you mean? I don't really have like... My volume turned up super loud so I can't really scrutinize it but... Is it, there's like an instrument that's like flat or something? It could be the simulator's fault. That That's something you do need to keep in mind whenever I'm like simulating a game. That there's a, a good chance. Oh, okay, well. These guys are just dropping lives now. Weird bass sound. Damn, I can't get back up there now, can I? Oh well. Sounds like a bass guitar with four extra notes on it. Yeah, the worst is when you get like audio stuttering, but we were able to fix that, thankfully. Oh, the blah, 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 that. It's probably just a synth, you know? That's my answer for anything if I don't know what the instrument is. Oh, it's just a synth. The synth could literally be made to sound like anything. How the hell was I supposed to not get shot by that guy? Don't think it's a simulation issue, it's a composition choice which sounds like a drunk fart. Damn, I'm all the way back here now. I must have ran out of lives. It's really too bad I'm not like playing this on a official hardware because it's really hard for me to tell sometimes if the game just maybe does not control the best or if it's just controllers slash simulator issues or maybe a mixture of the two because for them usually like 3d platformers are I, I have a pretty decent time with them I'm definitely having some trouble here. Oh, I missed those bottles last time. Waiting on Kiko to open our Wagyu burrito business. Wagyu burrito. Isn't that like one of like the most the finest, most expensive cuts of beef. Whoop. 
Well, you know, there's a silver lining to having to restart. Now I can get these bottles that I missed. Oh no! Okay. Thought I got stuck on something. Was there just one bottle up there I missed? Oh, okay. Well, better than nothing. Man, and you really want to like move the camera up and down, but you can't. I'm guessing like restricting camera movement probably helps avoid a lot of like collision issues. But at the same time, it feels very unsatisfying to not be able to move the camera in a certain direction. There we go. Why are his legs so tiny? He's very top-heavy, isn't he? I always remember Sly's controls being super snappy and responsive, but with a weight that was different from other platformers. I just get a lot of stuff for like... Like I get stuck on walls and I'm trying to like go... Just simply like walk around something and I have like... I don't know. And there's like a slight input delay. Like here, you can probably hear it. You hear that? Me hitting the button and then him jumping. It's it's a bit of a delay. It's not like really, really bad, but that's, I feel like that's something that usually bothers me more than most people. Like I, I, I think I've said this before, like I would be at Mike's house and I would keep saying like, I swear there's in input lag on here. And then we found out his TV wasn't on like game mode or whatever. And then it like fixed the issue, but he didn't even notice. Like he was like, that oh, feels fine to me. But I mean, like I said, it, it could very well just be a simulator thing. Really all of this is just an excuse for me to, uh, if I lose, now I can blame it on something else. I did not realize that the until like I was just finishing up that some of those roulette wheels had electrified spots and somehow I avoided all of them so yeah <laughs> Michael Michael mo motorcycle I feel like I would hate that if my name was Michael Hey, Michael, Michael, motorcycle. How's it going? Uh, Japan won't allow the export of live Japanese cows because they have strict laws on Wagyu business. Really? Damn, maybe I should have had some of that when I was in Japan. I, although, I will say, I went to a Korean barbecue place in Japan and it was the best meat I ever had. And it wasn't even like exceptionally expensive. It was actually like a pretty good price. And uh, and, that, and that wasn't even Wagyu as far as I can recall. I'm sure it would have cost way more if it was. And that, I swear that was like the best meat I've ever had. So maybe Japanese cows really are like amazing just in general. I don't know. I can't imagine they have too much of a better system than we do considering how condensed Japan is you know because we have like the problem where our livestock in general are all in very cramped spaces oh, I missed one clue again wait yeah it is okay sweet I didn't miss it after all I'm glad I decided to try to go up that pole. Just take that out just in case. Press the circle to enter the vault code. Man, I'm getting swift with deciphering these codes. Uh, just like how Mexico has strict laws on what tequila is. I didn't know that. 
But I, we might be close enough to Mexico where I live that maybe that's not an issue. It's ve well, I know it's not an issue because literally one of the big things we in we get from Mexico are illegal fireworks. People will cross over from like Tijuana and with, with illegal fireworks all the time. That's like a big thing. Uh, there we go. Uh, say that to Mike next time he annoys you and he'll drive away in his Harley. Cooper Giwa. Speaking of Japan. What? From now on, you'll automatically collect any coins you come near. Can you imagine her trying to explain that in court? Your honor, the coins, the money magically jumped into my purse, I swear. I was just walking by. It magically came out of someone else's pocket and jumped into my purse. Doc said shake my damn head, Jay, and his weeb cows. Hey, I'm just saying. Oh, I was right next to the thing. Alright, that's a fun idea. I'm just kind of mad at myself for being right next to it and missing it. There we go. Oh. Oh, you have to do it multiple times anyways. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to cheese it. I'm a game reviewer. That's what we do. We, we try to cheese things to see if it, they're cheesable or not. And I paid dearly for There we go. Sly just smiles at the paper. He's like, huh. Oh, hmm. Sly is a really smiley boy, I gotta say. He's a smiler. The French have patented champagne. No other country can make the bubbly. Was that a Chris Jericho reference? Let's see, do we have enough keys for this now? Yup, we do. Now what's gonna happen? Bueller. Oh no, I just need to hit this. Huh? Oh! Okay. I honestly kinda like that, how some of the uh, progression points in the hub have like things that happen. Dynamic environment. Smile Cooper. He loves what he does. With that, we could all be so happy with how we spend our time. Would... Yeah. For some reason my brain was breaking reading what you said. Oh my god, I need... That's like at least two keys. Surprised that like these enemies look big enough that you'd have to hit them twice, but I haven't had to hit any enemy twice yet. Would you look at that ugly mug? I am, and I find <laughs> it infinitely fascinating. I am. Huh? My X-ray detection devices reveal that a secret elevator to Mugshot's penthouse is contained within that giant head. So how do we get in? Behind this locked wall, there's a lever that okay. summons the elevator, but you need all seven keys to open it up. I'm on it. At least three, even, right? I can hold circle. That's probably what I wasn't doing right last time. I kept trying to time the circle press at the exact moment, which probably doesn't help that there's like a slight input lag. Ow! What is this? What the heck? It's like a sneak spot, but it's... I mean, look how tiny it is. That's funny. 
I wonder if that's just a joke. It takes two to dangle. Ain't that right, Sly Koopa? Imagine living in a penthouse. That's so awesome, cause like... Even like just living in a cool hotel... Would be cool. IMO. Well, maybe not, cause... Hotels literally are just like, the room and the bathroom. So ideally, if well, you want to well, like well, look who just walked into my cross have more room. About time you showed up, Miss Fox. Was getting worried about you. Thought you took a wrong turn somewhere back in Paris. The only one making wrong turns is you, Sly. I'd suggest you surrender before I paralyze you with my good friend, the shock pistol. Whoa! You see, a girl whose best friend's a firearms got issues. A little dinner, a little dancing. I think I can help you out. Hmm, sounds romantic. As long as you don't mind dining in jail. No, nah, oh. I hear the service is lousy. Once I catch you, you'll know for yourself. They have a fun little dynamic. I mean, if you're gonna be running into someone that often, you gotta have playful banter, right? Or else it's gonna get boring. Oh wait. Let's also, I just realized we we're just in a random level, and now we're like running from Carmelita. It's funny how there's like clearly probably an illegal operation going on here, but she's just focused on us. She really has it out for Sly, doesn't she? Man, am I getting a dead zone on like the right side of my joystick as well now? I do not like that. I do not like that one bit. Sly Cooper! Carmelita Fox! Murray! Bentley! Name a character that you would want to see in Smash, and I'll do the uh, the Smash announcer voice. Oh my god! I thought I was gonna fall there for a second. Checkpoint, good. Whose chair is this? No, no, no Sly Pooper Scooper. That's his evil cousin. His evil twin cousin. Does that make sense? Um... Really wish YouTube had a way to recognize the stream was at 4-3 so it could give me a better layout. Oh, is it like... Is it, is the, is there something off with the video? I could change it. I can't see any problems though. Like it's fitting the screen just fine, right? Are you talking like a mobile thing? Max Payne! I've never played Max Payne. Tell me what's special about it. Because I know it's one of... One of them, uh... It's one of them shooty... Uh... Law enforcement type guy games, right? Or maybe it isn't. Maybe I have no idea what it's about. Let's see, how am I gonna get this guy before he gets me? Wait, what the? 
Why is it making sound right here? <coughs> Excuse me. Max Payne is from the makers of Alan Wake. Oh. Well, I guess that right there shows there probably is something interesting about it. Because Alan Wake was an in interesting game. For sure. Dude, I did the We Will Rock You again. The boom, boom, clap. Boom, boom, clap. We are, we are Walmart. Boom, boom, clap. We are, we are Walmart. That was my joystick failing me. Okay. What I meant to do was... Oh, great. Imagine if him shooting up actually hit me. <laughs> Smash announcer. Howard Hamlin. Chuck McGill. Howard Hamlin in Smash Brothers. Good lord. Howard Hamlin is such a weird character to, to try to explain. Because <laughs> he's... Like, on the surface, there's this... He doesn't sound interesting at all. It's like, oh, yeah, you know, he's, he's the... He's the head of a law enforcement... Not law enforcement. He's, he's the head of a... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, wait, what do you call it? I know there's a name for it. I can't think of it right now. Law office? Where all the big lawyers meet up and they and they have lunch. Alright, now how am I gonna get over there? Is that Carmelita in there just shaking her fist at me? What the hell? She needs a chill. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, well. Oh, well. Max Payne is a is like a Punisher type figure. Ah, okay. You guys need to start dropping lives, cause uh Oh no, we have four still. Law firm, there you go. Can I think of the word? Dude, Kiko, Mike has watched the first season of Better Call Saul. But he still has four seasons to catch up on before uh, the final season comes out sometime this year. He was pretty shocked when, uh, when, uh, Chuck awakened his Magneto powers, and he levitated in, into the air. Oh no, this is a horrible position for me, <laughs> joystick-wise. There we go. Oof. Thought I was gonna be stuck there for a sec. Oh, there's no shadow. S Sly, where's your shadow at? That's like... Here it is. It's just some platforms you don't have a shadow. I think that was one of my issues in Blue Fire. There was like one specific platform that would not cast a shadow for some reason. This key is heavily guarded. There we go. Hunt you down, Cooper. You can't run forever. Or can I? Kiko said nice, he saw that nothing season one ending. Well, when they did season one, they had no idea if they were going to get another season yet. So from what I know, they they kind of made season one be kind of an ending in itself as if like, okay, 
Uh, it's not really getting into spoilers, spoilers at all, but Jimmy basically comes to the decision like, I know what was holding me back. I'm not going to let that happen again. And clearly a lot more happens with him that leads him to his Breaking Bad days, but it kind of leaves that, like, leaves it off on a, you know, he's going to start going down that path. So that's why it ends like that, from what I know. Did you see that Blue Fire was getting a level maker? No, I didn't. Now, I don't remember if I have Blue Fire on Steam or if I have it on PS4. I think I have it on Steam. So maybe I'll, I'll actually be able to do a stream on that. I was, I was kind of bummed because Demon Turf came out with a level editor recently, but it's, um... It's only for Steam and I, I have a, I have it on PS4. Where am I going? I actually don't know. I think I've already been in here, let me check. Oh no, I haven't. Okay, I'll go this way then. But yeah, Kiko, that's why season one doesn't like end with like a big cliffhanger or anything. Because they wanted it to... Like, if it had to be, for it to be a, a sort of like a possible conclusion. And thankfully it wasn't, because, like, they've built up the series to be, like, a way, like, higher stakes thing at this point. Let's see. Wait, so I could potentially... Oh. No, I can't. Never mind. It's specifically a level maker for the Void 3D platforming bits, and a lot of new assets come with it. Oh! Well, that's perfect. Because those are like... It's kind of weird. Those are kind of both the, both the best and worst parts of the game. They're the best parts of the game because, in theory, like those are like just kind of the most fun in a 3D platformer. They're just challenging... ...segments. Whoop. Kind of like the floodless levels in, in Sunshine, Super Mario Sunshine. Uh-oh. There's that clue I missed. I'm probably not going to be able to reach it anymore. Wait! Oh, I might be able to just barely reach it. Damn, I'm not getting any height. It's like there's an invisible ceiling or something. There we go! Must have been hitting the wall. But uh, on the other end, those void bits just had a lot of issues, or at least I had issues with them. Guess I just jumped down here. It's not letting me though. Feels like this is supposed to get knocked down, and then I can... Maybe not, maybe I just... There we go. Whoops. I think the camera was one of the biggest issues I had. I'm trying to remember, it's been a while since I played it. I think the camera and then something about the platforms blending in with the background or something. Just make flawless levels all by yourself then. Now, I'm not saying that I could make flawless levels. I think for the most part, it wasn't even the levels that were the problem. It was just the visuals. You had a hard time parsing, like... Oh, the depth perception. There was something about the way that the visuals worked that... It was very hard to, to judge depth perception. And then on top of that, the camera... Uh, had issues as well. The camera angles or whatever. That's what the main issue was, I remember now. That was the main reason why I didn't... Like, Blue Fire almost made it onto the 12 Days of Jasmus. Like, I, I, I kind of wanted it to. But I couldn't remember enough... ...about all the stuff I had to say about the game. I don't, I don't know, it just had been a while since I played it and... ...you know, you play so many games. 
but that was definitely probably the biggest issue from what I remember. And I know there was like little other things here and there, but because I didn't remember those other little things, I felt like I couldn't... I I'd want to mention those little things for the review. Is that a graffiti of myself on the wall? Who's a who's the Sly Cooper fan in this place? I think there may be a traitor amongst them. Can't wait for that bottle to come. Oh, there's two more. All right. This reminds me of like a Crash Bandicoot level, this one in particular. Probably all the parts where it's like 2D. Oh no, that was a bottle! I missed one because I didn't realize it was too late. Damn it, that sucks. Well, you know what, I'm just gonna jump off on purpose. Alright, I gotta wait for the red to go away. There we go. I don't remember where my last checkpoint was, so that might have been kind of stupid of me, but oh well. Ah, eh, that's not too bad. Oh, they saw me, oh well. What are you gonna do? I didn't even notice the alarm was right there the first time, because it wasn't going off. Uh, the big spacious void doesn't really help with depth perception. The color palette made some of the challenging rooms hard. There were like pure white rooms. Yeah, and it's weird because I like the the idea of the room looking like that. It just it just uh, made the visual aspects tricky. It's unfortunate because there are like a lot of things about Blue Fire that I liked a lot, but it also had a lot of issues. It's one of those things where it's like. You want to see another game by the same company with like with with them improving some of those issues. Whoops. Okay, I need to be more careful. You're like you you're like okay, you guys have some great ideas here and and some of the stuff you've implemented is even really cool. But if you could just fine tune this a bit, like see what else you could come up with. Um, you know what? I think I remembered another thing now, actually. I think that, uh, what was it? I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, like some of the special jumps, there's like a triple jump. It it was kind of inconsistent sometimes, or it was hard to tell if you had it charged or something. I think that was another like little, little thing. If I reviewed the footage, I might have been able to, uh... Ah, oh, I still missed one bottle, huh? Where- oh, there it is. I keep thinking I missed one, but then it's actually... ...at the very end. <laughs> If they honed it on a 3D platformer, they could probably do great things. Yeah, I think so too. Oh! Oh no. Jesus. You see that? I could have broken this code in my sleep. The combination is five, six, five. Okay. I don't see why that means you would have broken it in your sleep, but uh I'll take your word for it. All right, what do we got now? Outstanding! You've uncovered Rob McCooper's patented Rob explosive McCooper. hat technique. What? Use the triangle button to toss your cap. Then use the triangle button again to detonate it. Better back off to a safe distance first. That's less of a technique and more like a, uh, just a tool. And it's a mine too. Okay, that was a very odd explosion animation, but uh... 
This could be useful. Yeah, I want to actually see it explode. Or whatever the heck it's doing. It's like a dust explosion. But then you lose your hat. Well, apparently Sly has an abundance of hats, thankfully. You know what would've been cool if you put the hat down? Cause it doesn't really explode, it just kind of like shoots it, like a puff of dust out. What it should do is like, when, you, when you're when you using the, the mine, you set your hat down, then Sly doesn't have a hat on. And then when you blow it up, it flies back onto his head. That would've been a cool little detail. This guy is Neo, the world's greatest hacker. Neo! Now, if Neo was in Smash Brothers, would he be referred to as just Neo or would he be the one? The one! Agent Smith! Morpheus! Let's see. Oh! There's a bed you could just bounce on and get up there. I was trying to figure out how I would get up to that one. Straight to the top. Baby. Neo, the world ends with you. <laughs> Mr. Anderson. Sorry, dog. Wait. Gotta set this in a spot where... No, no, no. I knew that was gonna happen because he takes so long to drop the hat. In fact, why did the hat drop so far back? That's lame. I was like way closer than that. Whoa, it works though. Jesus Christ, that dog got decimated. I feel like I'm, I'll probably use that in very specific situations. Or maybe not at all. We'll see. Okay, someone had an accident. Oh, they kind of tease you because the key is visible right here. I'm sure you have to... Yeah, I almost skipped it. Alright. Now we know we're trying to get to that wrecking ball, so it's a good thing I came back down here. Either a bad man. Oh! I was trying to jump, but like... The input thing, I guess, because like I, I fell off the ledge before the jump registered. Like, that's my story and I'm sticking to it, guys. Clearly, every time I lose, it's because of the input lag and nothing else. How messed up would it be if I... I've, I, my controller is perfectly fine and I just made it up this whole time. Just so I had an excuse. Oh, this dead zone on my controller is so annoying. And then finally like someone comes over to my house and they're like... Trying out the controller and they realize... Like the saw music starts playing as they realize that my controller is perfectly fine. Da -da -da. No! Okay. Oh, and then I fell off anyways. Smash announce excuses. Excuses! No! 
Double O the God. Faximil Trainer. Oh my god. It seems a little dangerous. Let's see, where do I want to go to from here? Up there, maybe? Uh, who am I training exactly? Well, when it Faximil Trainer imply that it's someone who tr trains you? Because, like, Pokemon Trainer is someone who trains Pokemon. Oh, okay. I like how, like, the checkpoint triggers, like, without you even, like, touching it or going by it. You're just in the general vicinity. <laughs> Fact said this only creates more questions. Look, I don't make up the rules, buddy. Can't say dead in a children's game. I really like how, like in a, like children's cartoons and stuff, they wouldn't be allowed to say dead or kill or whatever. So instead, they would say, "I will destroy him." But if you think about it, it's like that's literally the same thing. It's just you're not saying the word "kill." But, uh... Ow! That, didn't see that guy. That was my fault, though. Freaking Gambit over here. Get out of here. You're not Cajun. I don't like the sound of that. Oh! Well, I got off of that in just the right time. Unless it's always designed to fall right after you jumped off of it. Doc said his name is Mackenzie. Get it right. You said that's from like a show, right? There's like a, a show you said you liked a lot. I forget the name of it. Space Force or something. Ha! Danger five. That's I, I was close. That's almost space force. Is Mackenzie part of the danger five, or is he just in the general vicinity of the danger five? There we go. Hmm. Oh. Looks like something's gonna happen once I get to the end of that, so let's look around here real for it. Oh, there we go. He's a sidekick to the Danger Five. That's kind of funny to me that like a group of five would need a sidekick because there's already five of them. Unless you would consider like Alpha from Power Rangers to be a sidekick, which I don't know if I would. Damn, I missed a bunch of clues this time. Floyd, why'd you jump off the bed? If you wanted down, I could have 
I could have helped you out. Is Mackenzie the, the alpha of the Danger Five? Is Mackenzie the Alpha of the Danger 5? That, that sounds like the opposite of what I'm asking. Out of context. He's kind of like the Scooby-Doo of the game. Really? Wow, I never... Well, I don't know anything about the show, so I guess I don't have any context, but I wouldn't have guessed the... All right, let's see if we have enough keys to get into whatever that thing was we were trying to get into. Oh, it's right down here. Ah, we're one shy. Okay, so there's one more level. Tricky part is figuring out where we haven't been already. What the? Why'd you dive downwards? I guess it locks onto enemies? That was really weird. Let's see. Yeah, it does kind of lock on enemies. Okay. Maybe I haven't been to this one yet. No, no, I have. I remember that little sneaky spot. Whoops, I fell. There aren't any levels on the ground floor. Oh, maybe I... If there's a level behind this dude, maybe that's what I've missed. Because I don't think I've been back there. Oh, this is empty. Or oh, that's the elevator. This is not working. He's not the star of the show, but he's the animal companion and largely exists as one half of a pair. I can check the map for where I haven't been. Well, it's, it's just a dude with a lion mask, right? But he acts like an animal. All right, let's look at the map. Uh, to the left, apparently. On like a little bridge. Oh, up there. Okay. That was very useful. Uh, okay. How am I gonna get over there? Couldn't make that jump. Or could I? No. Well, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Must be another way to get up near there. Oh, there's a rope. No, he is a lion man. That is that his is his face. Oh right. Wink wink. Nudge nudge. It's his face, of course. I should have known. the heck? Oh! Master Thief Sprint. Oh god, here we go. Well, that's not a good start. Wait, I have the key for this level? Oh. Well, what the heck? I followed the map to get here, though. This is to the left. More down to the left? Oh, it's like on the water. How did I miss that? See, I thought that this bridge was that bridge, but I guess not.
Where the heck is this level at? I legit can't find it. Because I've already been to this one too, which is right next to the one I was just at. And if this is on the left side, then it's got to be between these two. And it looks like it's on the water, but I don't see anything on the water. I feel like I'm really missing something. Can you warp straight to it? Let's see. No. It's in the earlier area. Before you back the car up. Oh. Dang. I didn't mean to skip one there. Well, now I need to figure out how to get back. I assume this way. Oh, okay. First I thought it was just a wall. That's probably it up there. I'm gonna land on this fence so I can... Come on. I think there's an invisible wall. Oh well. Uh... Yeah, I don't think I've been up here, so that, that probably is where we need to go. Whoops. What the? Did he hit me? What the? Ay, ay, ay. I played Sly Cooper today to see if I could gain. I couldn't find the key. I could not believe. Where's Carmelita? When all these other crooks are around, why she only bother me? I don't think I should be found. Here we go, at the dog truck, and it looks like it's a special one. Because there's no codes or whatever. Hurry, what's going on down there? Well, I drove to this hot Ooh. dog stand for a quick Is he gonna race and we have to help him win? I'm getting challenged to a race by these gangster dogs. Is there a key in it for the winner? Yeah. Hot dog stand. Three times around the track for a key. It's all you, man. Drive the van with the left analog stick. And if you manage to pick up any nitro power-ups, you can get a boost by pressing the square button. Go get him. I'm on it. Okay. Wait, what's the... Oh, there's no accelerate. You just go. All right. Can't believe we missed this. God, we're going so slow. Oh, no, I missed the nitrous. I feel like we really need these. Well, that was a bad time to use the boost. I didn't realize I was going over a ledge. Hoping this is just one of those where you're meant to catch up to them slowly. Either that I'm doing something very wrong.
feel like I'm doing something very wrong. Wow, I am not coming up to a single one of those cars. Yeah, have you been pressing up to accelerate? No. Well, what do you mean? Because you have to press up to go. It's not like if I, I'm just standing still, he won't go anywhere, right? Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm doing. Because if, if I didn't press it, I would just be standing still, I'm pretty sure. Here, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure I lost again, so watch. Yeah, see, you don't go if you don't press up. Go, oh, I'll restart it. They're a lot faster than me, aren't they? <laughs> oh, you could use the D-pad? Hell yes. Okay. I didn't think you'd be able to. They're still faster than me though, so... Oh my god! I don't know if that's something that's supposed to happen. I think I found a speedrunning glitch. If by speedrunning you mean uh, not winning. Okay, I mean, I originally I thought maybe it was just I was having trouble with the joystick, but I think I'm just really bad at this for some reason. But it's weird, because it's not like I'm crashing a bunch or anything. Actually, this is kind of weird with the D-pad. Oh, great. Man, I can't even get to fourth place. I legit thought it was the joystick, but I guess it's just me. I mean, at least I could see a guy in the distance now. That's a little better. I'm shocked. I really don't know what, uh, oh, I thought that, I thought it stopped automatically. But no, like, I, uh, and I need to beat this to progress, don't I? I'm not usually this bad with racing stuff, so I don't get it. It's like, they just, like, speed off. Like, look at it, they're way faster than me, like, right from the start. Okay, now it's just stopping.
Wait, did that guy grab the nitrous? They shouldn't be able to grab the nitrous. That's cheating. Only I could use the nitrous. Oh my god, I swear the... I don't know if it's the controller disconnecting, but like once in a while it keeps stopping again. Hang on, I wanna... I might get muted. Let me uh... Mess with the USB again. Come on. Stop disconnecting, dummy. You know what I wonder? Was the D-pad on the PS2 originally pressure sensitive? And since the PS4 isn't, I'm not getting the full speed? Is that possible? But then the joysticks should be going fine, right? Going by other videos, the speed seems right. Well, I it's just like weird because I don't feel like I'm doing particularly bad, yet I'm, oh my God. <sighs> that doesn't help when that happens. But I'm completely in last place. All right. Like right there, I'm going just straight as fast as I can and they're just like zooming away from me. You know what, I'm gonna check the uh... If there's a way to check my the sensitivity on the joystick, like maybe there's a chance that there's like the, the full press isn't working or something. Because I honestly feel like I should be going faster. Alright, let me see. Man, the, the dolphin uh, setup is so much better. Like, you could clearly see everything, like what you're pressing. It's only- this is how it is? I don't know then. Cause it's- it's like- it's not even like it's just hard and I'm losing by a bit each time. It's like I can't even get in fourth place. And the fact that these dudes steal the nitrous sometimes. I don't know if my controller is also adding to the pro- Ugh. Uh, I don't think there's any shortcuts. Not, not from what I could tell. It's a pretty small track. Ay, 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 ay.
Oh my god, this stupid controller. It's driving me crazy. I'm, I'm honestly considering launching this in Steam so I could use the Pro Controller. Because it's becoming like... I feel like the fact the ground is so bumpy is what's really screwing me up because it's like... I can't keep my acceleration going because of that. I keep I keep bumping up and down. And the freaking controller. So annoying. My first impression of this is like, oh this is cool, there's like a racing part, and then like what the hell man? Uh, the simulator isn't running at a super high frame rate. I think it is running at 60 FPS actually. Maybe I should turn that off. It, Cause I always see like in the corner 60 FPS. Let me see if I can change it. Um, emulation settings. Game fixes. Disable frame limiting. No. You say sixty FPS is fine? Double listed, here's the strat. Hug the walls and stack boost till three or four. I feel like I have been hugging the walls though, but I'll try again. Does it look like something's like the, the that I'm doing something particularly wrong than when you compare other videos. I just feel like I keep stopping because the, because of the bumps, and then I need to like start go like I'm constantly stopping and then having to start going again, and they're just going forever. Like that's what it feels like the problem is. But how would I, you know, fix that exactly? This is just pathetic. <laughs> it's weird that they would make a mini game that's not like it's in a game that you don't you're not racing most of the time anyway, so you don't even know if the players I'm surprised I actually caught up to this guy. But now he's in my way. <laughs> Anyways, it's interesting that they would make a level this hard. I can't believe they can grab the boost from me. That's so messed up. Wow, I actually got fourth place though. But I, I don't feel like I was doing anything different except for like storing the nitro, I guess. And I'm in fifth place again. I feel like I would need like 50 laps to catch up to everyone.
Uh, once you get to third place stack fortify boosts, I would need to get to third place. Try to avoid corner drifts, boost on straightaways and corners with no drifting. But I thought drifting, which I'm not even drifting because there's no brake, but I thought drifting was like the super fast driving technique that everyone does. Or like pro drivers do. I'm not exactly sure how I would avoid that. Wait a minute, I have, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I think I figured out. Oh my god, I think I was hitting right and left too hard and that was making me stop? But in, in what racing game is that ever a thing? I've never encountered that. Like you have to gently press left and right and somehow you'll make those like sharp curves. Even though you, you'd think you would have to press it hard. I mean, even then I'm still having trouble, but I feel like that might be what it is. Like I tapped left right there and he like skidded to the left. It's very sensitive. But I think that's what it is. You have to be very, very gentle when turning. So I might have a chance now. Oh, he freaking took it, this asshole. These assholes. Why would they let them take those? They don't even use them either. Oh, you guys suck. Get out the way. He's gonna take that too, isn't he? I oh, jumped over him, screw you. Eat my dust. Damn it, I wanted to get that, oh well. I think we might have did it there. Okay, yeah, that's what it was. You're just not allowed to press left more than like a centimeter more. It's, it's very weird. I've never played a racing game like that. They definitely should have made that a lot easier, I feel like. some more Gatorade. Okay, I'm glad that that- I, I honestly uh, didn't know what I was gonna do there. Sounds like those old top-down tank control slot car style racers. Except on those, there is no turning. You just have to be careful about the acceleration. <laughs> oh wait, tank control. Oh yeah, I'm not sure what you, what you mean then. My bad, I thought you meant those like little racetrack toys. God, I haven't played with one of those in forever. I, I feel like it was like at a store or something. They had one. That was pretty little. Uh, no slot cars, sorry, wrong term, like micro-machines. I've always heard micro-machines, but I don't really know what they are. I know there's a micro-machines NES game. I think I almost got that a couple times. I, I think it has like a special cartridge. It might be like a gold cartridge. Which most of the time just means it's like a weird, un unlicensed NES game. Uh, I did play Penny Racers for the N64, though. Oh, wait. I just need to go to this thing now. Not that thing. This thing. I'm dead. Is 
It's weird how you could lose lives in the hub. Well. Oh, you're talking about the Micro Machines game? I thought you were talking about... Because I think Micro Machines was a toy originally, wasn't it? And then they made a game? Because there is an NES game called Micro Machines, from what I remember. Down this way. There was a mode like that in Kirby's Air Ride that I hated because of how it controlled. Mm. like his tongue. I've only ever heard of the Micro Machines video games, really. I think, I think there was a toy. Have been yapping about oh, some boss big fight. mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and, <laughs> and and this is it? You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick. Right. Wow, oh, I honestly only ever knew about I've the NES that game. Stick before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Wow. Your father? You're a Cooper? Hey, you know that thing is Rakamagookas had a lot of nice Rakamagookas way too many big ways. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint, I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock. Hey, you oh my god. Wow, the uh The sculpture of him wasn't lying. He really is top heavy. Look at him. <laughs> He doesn't even bother using his legs. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I see. I didn't even notice those were crystals. I just, I legit saw through the translucency at first. Okay, so we want to get him to shoot these, from what I can tell. Oh. Wait. Wait, he wants me to hit them? Is this not working? No, I think they're chipping away just very slowly. I think. Oh, the mirrors! Oh! Okay, I knew I was gonna get shot there. I did not see those mirrors before. Well. Ooh. This is, is pretty tough, because you can't... Like, you're basically fighting boss fights with one hit of health. So I think I just want to stay far away from him and then just hit the mirrors, whatever mirrors I happen to get close to. Like the one I just skipped over. <laughs> Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not. You could jump over. Okay, I didn't think you could jump over the shots. Now I know. Okay, yeah, I thought you had to use those for protection. Because usually the other enemies will just shoot you. They don't give a damn. I don't know how that works, but it worked. That's all that matters. Oh, I wish I had horseshoes. Did you just undo my mirror? Damn it! And then I have to redo the whole fight, don't I? Unless, maybe this one's different, because this is pretty... Nope. Damn. Okay. I just have to be careful. Instead of like trying to use things to block it, I'm just gonna try to make sure I can jump when he shoots every time. Alright. 
That was a lot faster. He, this dude skipped leg day way too many times. Am I right, fellas? Damn it! Okay. I always like jump preemptively. Why did this dude get so big and then just end up using guns? Doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose? Like, you could have stayed small and just got guns. Oh god. Wait, what? What is going on? What? Oh my god, I was... I, I was so confused about what I was looking at right now. Damn, that sucks. I guess I was like on a tightrope or something. Damn it. Oh, now I have a horseshoe suddenly. What? What, what the heck's going on here? And I wasted it on the first phase. I think his legs have just atrophied at this point. Probably. He does seem to like sitting in chairs a lot. Oh, it's a pity system. Okay, well, I wasted it on the first phase. Damn it! Oh my god! I just like every time like this third phase start, I I I can't tell what I'm looking at and I get confused. I just see a mirror in front of me and I'm like, okay, let's go to the mirror. But like, I think I need to use like the circle button to like land on the thing. I, I keep thinking like, oh, I'll just jump on the other end of the rope. <laughs> Why you should take a while to fire that time. safe when you start the phase so you just stop and take it in. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I keep thinking he's gonna shoot me so I get like panicky. I'm waiting for him to... Oh my god, I was trying to land. I knew where I was trying to land. It just didn't work. But I need to return that mirror because he like turned it, didn't he? There we go. Maybe I should treat it like 2D instead of like trying to aim it, like just press left and right. I think that's my problem. I was trying to like aim specifically. Oh! Okay, I was in the middle of moving, so I don't know why he hit me there, but... Usually the rule is if someone's gonna fire something at you, be moving. I'm not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna try to hit all the mirrors when I get to that part. Yeah, cause uh, in these other phases, as long as you're jumping, 
when he fires, you're good. You'll jump over it. Oh god. Even when you're really up close like that, apparently. Kinda threw me off my groove this time. Oh, I know what to do. I just need to be behind the mirror, but I can't make- I can't let him shoot a mirror that's already been turned. That's all it is. I don't think you can avoid his aim in this phase. Because my concern was I need to be quick before he shoots the mirrors back, but he's only going to shoot where you're at. I missed. That was weird. I like swung and turned around too quickly, I think. There we go. Oh okay, yeah, this is easy once you know this. It's literally like... Just wait for him to shoot. There we go. Oh. Okay, I'm glad the cutscene didn't kill me. Beating a big strong bruiser like me? It ain't right! You want all of that stupid picture book? Picture book? go down to Haiti and cross paths with Miss Ruby. Haiti. And believe you me, you don't want to be you. I like how they just snitch each other out without even any prompting. Slinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Ooh. Oh no. Is this going to be West. Sonic Adventure 2? Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and dragged that canine steroid case off to jail. Oh hey, she actually arrested him though. That was the end of Mugshot's gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys... Well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. Alright, so next place... Wait, let's see what Murray's doing today. Oh, he's playing a PlayStation. PS1, it looks like. One of those portable ones. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Oh my god, it's a freaking... Born into a family oh, that be an, uh, alligator? The children found her... scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Because the gators are the ones that live in like swamps Chief and Mystic stuff, right? The Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Sly has like such like a soft speaking voice. He's just like very calm. Sly Cooper in Vicious Voodoo. Like Zoinks, gang. We're in a spooky swamp. That is an enormous mosquito. Where are we, Australia? This is another section the HD collection bungled. Her boss fight is way harder in the HD version for all the wrong reasons. Oh no, really? Sorry, Sly, but this is one mission you will have to accomplish without me. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not the problem. This swamp is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Uh, Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from Mug 
shot section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Raccoon Railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you well, it's not like Bentley has to leave the band. The circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away, and where it's super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss, you'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. Ah, okay. Oh no, it's Sonic Adventure 2 all over again. Railing around at the speed of spider. I think after I had like replayed Sonic Adventure 2 again recently, that was ended up being like the worst, or at least my most dislike level. Uh, that one where you're, you're shadow and you're like in space grinding on the rails, that one, god. It's funny because as a kid I don't even remember it being that bad. I remember it, like several sections of the game being kind of tough, but that one I like didn't really stand out for me as a kid. But as an adult, I found I guess most of the other sections I had problems, problems with as a kid were like fine now. So I guess that's why that one stood out more because that one just still... What? I think it automatically bounced me forward, but I was just trying to bounce in place. Suddenly the power line sliding and infamous makes a lot more sense. Oh, Sucker Punch made that too, right? I, I actually remember the name because of that game. Even though I don't think I've ever played infamous. But, uh, have I? I don't think so. If I did, it was like at someone's house very briefly. But I remember seeing Infamous, like stuff, like videos on it, probably like on G4, and I remember it looked interesting. I like how the mandatory special moves you get are always binded to the circle button. And then the special ones you get are always binded to the triangle button. That's actually a really good choice. Yep, they made all the infamous games. The one from PS4 is pretty standalone, but it's also maybe not as good as the other ones. Mm. From what I remember, isn't that game kind of like a static shock bang baby situation? Where like some big accident gives a bunch of people in a certain vicinity uh, powers, right? Oh, even like the the main dude even uses like electricity, does, doesn't he? Like static shock. Or maybe that's just one of the, the abilities, I don't remember. I remember electricity being like a, a big thing at least. Oh! Well, do I slide into him? Oh, that's... Okay, this isn't a rail. It's just a walkie one. Whoops. I thought it was a rail. My bad. Or should I? There's like a whole area that I haven't been checking out. Okay, didn't expect to make that massive leap, and I almost made it. I accidentally fell in water. Uh, yeah, I think so. Cole has electric powers. That's why he grinds on power. All oh, right, yeah, that makes sense. Superhero static shock. Woo -woo. Maybe I did like watch someone play the game or play a little bit. No, I, I feel like I did play a little bit. I feel like I was at like a friend's or cousins or something and they had and I played a little bit because I even remember like near the start of the game you uh whoops got distracted 
I think you get framed for something. Like someone frames you as if you caused like this huge accident or some not accident like an incident. Like there's video footage of you, it makes it look like you made an explosion or something. Oh. That spider is gonna pay. I guess he already did. I remember when Infamous and Prototype were coming out around the same time and it was kind of weird. Oh, is that a game with a similar concept? What the hell is that? Um... Hello? Oh! Turns right back around. Oh. He was less intimidating than I gave him credit for. I thought he was just gonna insta-kill me, basically. I just jumped back down from where I was. Now I have to go around again. The game does have like a lot of parts where like you kind of wrap back to where you were before, but now you're on something that was just slightly out of reach. And so sometimes I don't realize that I'm just going back. But the enemies are all dead here, so I should be fine now. Prototype was the one by the people behind Hulk Ultimate Destruction. New York open world mayhem with goopy bio powers. Huh. See, I kept thinking there was secret stuff up here I was missing, but it turned out I just... Didn't have it av available to me yet. Hey, I could probably use my cap ability. Let's see. Jump! Oh boy. Wait, now I need to actually bait them. Oh, I pressed triangle! God damn it. I wish they would have set that checkpoint for after this part. Aye! Oh, I keep thinking the vine's connected. Not keep, but it's happened a time or two before. Oh, the spider's gone. That's weird. I'm surprised, and the big guy here's gone. I don't know why, but that's fine. Works for me. Okay, let's try this again. Whoops, wrong button. <laughs> Triangle for the cap, circle for the rail. Cap. Now we need to bait them towards it. Ah, oh, but I can't trigger the cap while I'm standing here. That sucks. Well, that didn't do anything anyways. What? How did I get hurt? I hit him. Did he hit me? Oh, the head came off and touched me. Ah, yay, yay. Oh, what did I do? Hit my head? Boy. I could have really used that horseshoe for those big guys. Superhero static shock. Whoop whoop. You know, I forgot to acknowledge when, when in fact, when you first came in, you said you were like giving a sacrifice to a deer or something. What the heck was that? What on earth were you talking about? Oh my god, the freaking double jump. And now I gotta do the level all over.
Yes, yes, we get it. Oh, pray for the gods. Okay. I thought you were just being random. I pressed circle, I'll have you know. I did it again! I pressed circle! What the heck? Why didn't it work? Legit. Oh, that's the first time mosquitoes hit me. Little shrines around the world you can give offerings to, like a puzzle. The one I did involved deer meat. Ah. Well, that's cool that there's, like, stuff to do around the world rather than just the boss fights. Oh, God. Man, these vines are hard to see the ends of sometimes. use the cap on this one. Uh. Well, that wasn't... No, 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 no! Okay. Excellent did the cap. Yeah, let's forget, the cap isn't very good. I'm gonna be honest. It's easy to just kind of get in the zone hunting for upgrades. That's cool. Yeah, because I mean, that's one of the things about Shadow of the Colossus was, was cool too, is you just like exploring the world. And somehow they, they were able to make the world like, like different paths different to different bosses like actually s stand out from one another. Oh, there's a bunch of those clues right there. Get the clues. All right, we don't have to get them again. There's a clue in the tree. Okay, good. We just beat them up. All right, hopefully that was that's gonna pay off. I guess. Do I go that way? Oh God. Did I just go backwards? Yes. I am not having a great time navigating this swamp. At least the enemies are gone now that those are kind of the main hazard here. So I just jump there? Okay, hopefully I make it. Okay, good. I even got a checkpoint. Angry elephant statue. The way the climbing works, it's much more freeform than Shadow of the Colossus, and you have a grappling hook. Oh yeah, that's true. That grappling hook's no joke. 
Okay, now that I'm over here, now what? What's the point of sneaking? Can I just... Nope! Can't do that! What is the point of sneaking under this dude? Oh, I could just go up here. Yeah, that was weird. Unless they had expected me to jump up on the left side. And I sneak to the right, but it's like... Why? When you could just jump up. That's Miss Ruby's lair! To get in, you'll need that key on top of a tiki pedestal in the guard compound. There's a bad mojo force field protecting it, so you'll have to destroy all five of the purple candles surrounding it. No problem. Don't get cocky or you'll end up with your head shrunk to the size of a pea. You've oh no, not a pea. Guards, and I'm warning you, they're made Voodoo guards. So do we, buddy. I don't know why that's funny. Voodoo guard. I don't think it's like voodoo priests as like guarding a place. Oh, I guess they could, but not in like this sense with like security themes and stuff. Oh, here. Boom. Boom. We got all the clues. Bye bye. Wait, should I, I shouldn't grab that yet, because I need to do the safe first. Where is that safe at? I saw it. Dang, where... Where is that safe? There it is. Have you ever played any of the Spyro games? Or are all, are all PlayStation platformers pretty much a blind spot for you? Then the combination has got to be five eight eight. Um, I played some PS One because I had a PS One. I didn't have very many games for it though, but uh, I had a demo for one of the Spyro games. I'm not sure if it's Spyro One or Two. I always forget. But in the demo, like all of the the adult dragons have been turned into stone, and you have to go around like freeing them. And I thought it was kind of neat, but I didn't really have uh much more experience with it than that. Just just that demo. Okay. This page is from your hyperactive ancestor BF Cooper. BF he Cooper. A way to speed up okay. the clock. Perfect for those long stakeouts. Just hold down the triangle button to use it. Really? So if there's something that you have to like wait for, you could speed up. That's it. That's a cool one. It's, it's good they're getting creative with these abilities. Wow, that's cool actually. This literally just speeds up the game. Oh, you can even like run? Oh my god, this must be this what the speedrunners go for, right? This has to be a speedrunner thing. Oh, right, I need the key. Crash Bandicoot's probably the Sony PlayStation game that I have had the most experience with, but I haven't played any of them in like, gosh, I don't know, like maybe legit like almost 20 years. Like when I was like little, because I haven't had a PS1 since I was pretty little, because it stopped working at, at a certain point. Oh, it said I had to destroy all the candles, huh? I just remembered that. This is a good spot to get the fast ability, too. In case one of these guys is covering up a candle, you want to just get out of the way already. They all died. Was that those candles were their their uh, poor cruxes?
Well, technically, when I destroyed the candles, all the guards were instantaneously bopped at the same time. So, you weren't wrong. Feels like they meant to make more key models for each world. My yeah, possibly. Is maxing out on that structure. A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're Ms. Right. Ruby. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have like to find MZ. a way inside that skull temple. They all have Rally's top hat. Oh yeah. Good point. Yeah, that might have been something they had planned, and then they just never ended up finishing it. It happens. Oh. Take over Mexico. I don't like that. <laughs> She's scary. Let's go to the Lair of the Beast. That sounds a little more inviting. What's with this industrial strike voodoo gate? Ms. Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in. Yeah, I knew he was going to say that. Or maybe that's how you know it's going to be the line. Yeah, that circle button's really nifty because you will just, like, you will, like, hone in on whatever you need to land on. So just click onto it. The music here is so, uh, ominous. It's almost like... Oh, I missed that. Oh, I missed! Nah, I'm not gonna bother. We don't need to get every secret. I like that they are there though. Like if I if I had this game growing up, I probably would have went and like got every single clue. Swing while I'm on? Okay. Okay. Well, I got lucky there. They took pity on me. Oh. Thought he was gonna get me for sure. That seemed like the next thing to jump to. What the heck happened? Pretty forgiving system compared to your typical collectathon. Doubt many kids tore out their ha hair over Sly. Yeah, it's not too bad. Once in a while, there's one you'll miss where you would have to, like, die to go back or restart the level. But it, it's. Man, it really wants me to hook over to that next one and screw me up. Cause I'm trying to just land on the thing and it like flip- it like launches me. See if I can like approach it from the left more. 
And maybe I'll land on the twig. There we go. You gotta think about where the game wants you to go, I guess. Okay, was this where I tried to jump and I couldn't reach it? Because there's a bottle there. No. No, that's the one. I tried to jump and I and I didn't reach it last time, but it doesn't look like there's anywhere else to go. So maybe it was a fluke. Yeah, it was a fluke. I don't know what happened there. Did you see those no. No. No, there's nothing there. Stop making stuff up. Why would Birdly make something up like that? Why, I ask you? And when did he decide to become a, a tortoise? <laughs> I couldn't remember his name, so I just said Birdly. I know it's close to that. Oh no! I immediately was thinking like, mo like a lot of rail grinding games where there's multiple rails, you just press left or right and jump, and then you'll automatically like latch onto the other rail. But no, you have to hit circle in this one. It's like, oh, that's how the rules work. I should know that. Okay, did you see that? Interesting. Bentley, that's right. Spider, you shouldn't exist anymore. Stop respawning. Oh, come on, man. That freaking double jump. God, I'm on my last life, so I have to... Be careful. Yeah, you really need to know how things work in this game. In terms of like... What actions will lock you to what place and stuff, and then... The uh, platforming stuff. Okay, I got like last turned to a ledge randomly. I'm still not exactly sure how that works, because I don't usually grab onto ledges. It's also an interesting decision that 100 coins gives you an extra horseshoe instead of an extra life. Like most games, it would be an extra life. But they decided to do things a little differently. I don't think it's necessarily a bad choice, it's just different. Oh, okay. It's a little maybe not so chill. Ah, oh, damn it, I was trying to hit that bottle, but what's the point? We're, we don't have them all anyways. Oh! Is that a giant snake? That's not good. Yeah, I'm gonna skip these bottles. I already missed too many anyways. That's a little scary. Not gonna lie. Did not expect that. 
Now running towards the screen, this is very Crash Bandicoot as well. Uh, God damn it! Uh, you don't want to do your air jump immediately when you're running towards the screen because you don't know what's coming up yet. You're trying to like save it, but it's like, no, 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 you, you just got to Okay, I got lucky. Last life. I feel like they were very generous about how slow the snake was though. I could have, they could have really screwed me over. have zero lives, but since we're in the hub, you know what that means, right? Horseshoe's probably more useful in the moment than an extra life. Yeah, probably is. Oh, that's what I'm trying to open. What's this? Well, that's also closed, though. Interesting. Oh well, okay. Alright, I was gonna reset my lives anyway, so that's not a big deal. I was just gonna wait till I got into a level to do it. Oh wait, that takes three keys. And I have two. Like, how do you grab on the ledges, Sly? You don't do it most of the time. Ah! You don't open the gate, you go around it. I legit thought you had to open it. There we go, and this is like one of those special levels. Hopefully it's not another race, but... Or if it is, maybe it's just... Not as tricky. Sly, the only way to open up that voodoo gate is by lighting all 25 tiki torches with 25. a flamethrower on your swamp skiff. Use the left swamp analog skip. stick to steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Oh, and flame one more thing. You need fuel from the flamethrower, and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. Run them down. Around. The one fish fuels one shot. Hurry, you only have two minutes to get all the torches lit. Oh no, there's one more racing level. Wait, X isn't working. Oh, but I need fuel. So I run into them? Okay, I see. Such a weird combination of things to have to do. Dang, and you can only light one at a time. Oh, I, this is gonna be tricky. I can already tell. Doesn't help that they're so fast. Oh my god. Yeah, this is gonna take a few tries. Oh my god, I'm using the D pad. Screw you, joystick. Oh yeah, that's way better. Hey, I wonder if I could send my PS4 controller to Nintendo and if they'll fix that for free too, what do you think? I'll tell them it's their fault somehow. Okay, we might actually have a chance here now. Okay, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, next attempt.
It was close. I don't know where they are though. The unlit ones. Alright. My dual shock is suffering from Joy-Con drift. That should just be part of their atonement for the Joy-Con drift in general. They have to fix any controller that you send them. game company has done like the dumbest things in total because I know Xbox had that thing didn't they try to have that thing where like you could no longer rent games and like only one game could be registered to a console at a time something like that it was like something crazy like that they were trying to do nobody liked it and then you couldn't like share like like, you, I don't know what it was. And then Sony basically came out and they were like, uh, yeah, we're not doing that. And then like, so Sony like, just basically saying, yeah, we're, we're not doing what Xbox is doing, like made them more likable at the, whatever event it was. Like that's pretty bad when all another company has to do is say that they're not you. Two more. I saw one unlit one. And where's the other one? Oh, right next to it. Great. Kind of crazy how little they've acknowledged the Joy-Con drift. Yeah, I mean, I'm lucky that they fixed mine. They fixed mine and Mike's. Well, a set of uh, each. And I sent them in to together. Something like that, basically trying to kill the secondhand market. Yeah, that was that was insane. That's the main reason I worry about if games were to try to, you know, completely go digital. That would just the secondhand market would be gone, and that's you know. For some people, that's the only way they can afford to play a lot of games. Because games are expensive, man. Like a full price game is like $60 and it's like... Every time there's a new game you want to come out, you gotta spend 60 bucks. That ain't cheap. Okay, oh, here we go. There's always some sneaky answer. A grave undertaking. The Undertaker is here. Right, I heard about that. They're trying to make $70 the new thing and I... Did I just get killed by a, like a ghost leopard? Or panther or something? What the hell was that? Whoops. Oh god. Can I save it? Aha! I feel like I'm gonna be missing a lot of bottles in this world, but that's okay. Yeah, you could have told me that a little sooner, buddy. When the ghost murdered me. The thing is like, for me, is that... Video games are like, cheaper to distribute than ever, and that's like the main thing. Cause they try to say like, oh well, production costs are way higher now. Yeah, but they also- games also make way more money than they ever have also so i would say that that's already balanced out like a triple a title that has like millions of dollars put into it it's gonna make unless it's a complete bomb it's gonna make its money back 
Like, I think GTA 5 is one of the best-selling pieces of media in, in history, just in general. Like, it, it made a ridiculous amount of money. Um... But aside from that, like, distribution costs are at an all-time low. They, were, they already were lowered when cartridges went to discs, because cartridges are way more expensive to manufacture than discs. Um, but now the fact that... I forget the exact statistics, it's maybe like every three out of four game purchases are now digital. So now it's like... Okay, now... Anyone could just get, like, it, it's just like it's the d digital distribution is like n zero cost. It just is compared to having to, you know, manufacture a bunch of cases and game discs or cartridges or whatever. Hang on, these freaking ghosts. Very Luigi's Mansion esque ghosts, I guess, because they're like got a cartoony look to them. God, oh, there's so many. Are they just gonna keep coming? Oh, they're coming out of this thing. Uh, also, no one asked for production costs to skyrocket. Not everything needs to be some hyper photorealistic or testicle shrinking graphics showpiece. What? What on earth are you talking about? I mean, I get what you're saying for about 70% of that. Um. Even poor Sucker Punch here is in the photorealistic minds with Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah. Uh oh. Didn't realize that was gonna happen until it was too late. Did I just lose my hat and then I also put my hat on? Hang on, let me rewatch that. Yeah, my hat flew off into the water. Well, we already know he has multiple hats though, so that's not really a. You can't really call that a, a continuity error. He has many hats. It's just a fact. Oh! The body got me. That was a thing in Red Dead Redemption 2. They're like, our horse testicles react dynamically to changes in the environment. Huh. Yeah, that's a good question, why? So out of all the details they could have thought to put in the game, which I'm I'm sure the game does have a lot of detail, I've heard good things about it. Someone at the table was really like, you know what? It's cold, and we already have the horse testicles visible. It just wouldn't be right if they didn't shrink when it got cold. I can't believe someone actually pitched that and they were like, you know what? You're right. Also, you're gonna get a raise, because that's a brilliant idea. I was about to say, it's like you never see video game characters using the bathroom, and it's not like that's something people really want, and then I'm a hypocrite because no more heroes. <laughs> that's the whole thing you save on the toilet. Well, it's not the whole thing, but it's one of the things people know it by. Unless you're Shinobu, then you save in the shower. Because girls don't use the bathroom, don't you know? Well, I guess technically they use the porta potties in uh, Bad Girl and Shinobu use the porta potties in TSA, but they don't have animations of them sitting on the toilet, which is probably for the best. And The Sims, people love The Sims. Oh, that's true. Whoops! Oh, okay, I see what's going on. I was scared for a second because I just heard the alarm go off and I didn't know why. Should have went over there and got that safe. Oh, there's a lot of stuff over there. Have I been getting all the clues here though? I don't know. I'll go back just in case. It's another instance of I didn't I wasn't sure which way to go. A lot of clues. Jeez, there's 40 in this whole level.
That alarm needs to stop. I demand it to stop. Oh no! Oh, I thought I was gonna like fall in water or something. I panicked. It wasn't that big of a deal. <laughs> I like how the lasers are uneven, they're kind of at different angles and different degrees of separation. They're not all just uniform. Why does Sly always have that smug look on his face? Dude, you could you could die any second. Maybe he, he loves the thrill of it. I mean, that's basically Lupin the third. Like, Lupin isn't really, like, greedy for money or anything. He just loves the challenge of just being able to say that he stole this heavily guarded thing or this, like, really valuable thing. Like, he just does it because he, he loves doing it. Wait, were there things I missed back there? Eh, who cares. The Gentleman Thief is a well-known archetype. I'm sure Lupin is probably one of the earlier examples. Like, I'm sure he, he's not the first, because I know he's already, he is already based on, like, a real-life person. I, well, I don't know if it's a real-life person or just an older, like, French character named Lupin. Uh... But Lupin the Third's a pretty old series. I think the original manga came out in the 60s, which is pretty crazy. And in Japan, it's it's always been really big. Like in Japan, at one point at least, Lupin was like as big as like Pokemon. Arsene Lupin, yeah. I probably didn't pronounce that right, but. Okay, I could walk over there, or... The secrets seem to be this. I like how the music gets more epic. Ah! Oh no, how far down am I? How many lives do I have? I'm just gonna die. Because I feel like I went really far back. That's true, Robin Hood, yeah. Although Robin Hood has more of a noble agenda, because he's literally trying to steal from the rich and give to the poor, whereas Lupin's uh, M.O. is like very selfish. He j he just likes doing it. I'm sure, there's been instances where he's helped people out because he's he's not a he's he's not a mean guy, but he's not really going out of his way to be charitable. When the music turns into a rave, that's when you know things are getting serious. Oh, there's bottles behind there. They thought I wouldn't see. Oh! I'm trying to. Why is the. Alright, how do we get back there? Oh, there's another bottle back there. Alright, there must just be a path you have to take to get there. Or is there? Because I see the branch, but... Oh, that's the end of the level. Okay. I have a hard time, uh... In this game, I noticed, like... With, with like... Mapping out the levels in my head about where things are, where I need to go... At every given moment. 
get the feeling we didn't get all the bottles, but that's fine. This is, once again, like, giving me a lot of Rayman vibes, just because, like, I guess there's a few swamp levels in Rayman that are very memorable because it's near the start of the game, and I didn't have a memory card, so I played those levels a million times. Wait a minute. We have 32. There's two safes back there. There's no way they're gonna have four each in them though. Yeah, okay. We're still missing four. Not bad though. We found most of them. Stretch in just such a way that your back cracks, but not like in a bad way. Alright, well, I think we have enough keys for that gate. For that first gate, I guess. But hang on, what's the deal with this purple, though? Did we ever figure that out? Okay, I'm just gonna go this way. Guess we could always check the map. Rayman has, is set in a weirdly verdant world. Oh! Oh! Cool. Oh, that's a candle force field? Are you sure? Because we just... I mean, this guy just helped us out. If so, there's a lot of candles we need to break. Oh, there's even more up there. Maybe these were the only ones I had to break, actually. On account of they're in the big, crazy statue. Yeah. I mean, I know that's what was protecting the key in the intro level. I just wasn't sure if there was the same thing going on here. I think I, bro I broke all the candles. Unless there's more in a different place. I feel like I could just go back there now, because of this. Maybe not. Well, we, we're gonna need to get in there, right? Because... We have to deal with the levels. So where the heck, what candle am I missing? Maybe in this cave? No. Got my candles there. There. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep moving ahead for now. Voodoo egg beater. If I can unlock the cauldron's lid, I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby's skull temple. Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get okay, that seems that thing, reasonable. Try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. Okay. Descent into danger. Oh my god, a green waterfall overflowing with bones and body parts. I'm telling you, the health department's going to come down to big time on this dump. And Birdly hates this place. Isn't Bentley like the name of like a car, like an old 
fashion type of car or something. I don't really know anything about cars. Ow! The spiky things are no good. Damn, we already have 10. Pretty crazy. I know like when people like order Ubers, the Uber tells you like what kind of car to look out for. And I've seen like people like order Uber and I'm like, I don't know what cars are. <laughs> so this wouldn't help me at all. like it's a, a 2007 uh, Ford Civic it's like okay what color is it does it have four doors or two or six this music honestly sounds like one of the spacier atmospheric tracks you'd hear in Undertale no I was literally thinking the same thing it's very atmospheric funnily enough oh Funnily enough, it reminds me of, uh... Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday had sort of similar music on, on some of the levels. Just a Super Nintendo game. One of my childhood games. I need to do another NES, uh, slash or, or Super Nintendo review. It's been a while. And that's kind of like what my whole channel like started off on and that was like my big things. I just need to figure out what game to do. It shows a picture of the kind of car though. Sometimes, I swear I've seen ones where it just says the type of car and that's it. Maybe, maybe that's like what they used to do and now they upgraded it, I don't know. Ah, uh, really? Boo. They went with the Mega Man logic. Oh, you're you're near a spike, so you're dead. Mega Man is brutal with their the spikes. The fact that just touching the side of a spike is killing you is already pretty silly. Okay. <laughs> Nice trick there. Oh! Okay. I noticed that last time. I'm lazy and just read the make and model off the back of the car. Oh, just read the make and model. You haven't even seen the worst of Mega Man spikes. I haven't. I mean, I played like most of the Mega Man games at this point. Well, maybe not the spin-offs. I'm sure there's like a ton of those. Like, there's no way Battle Network has like a big sp use of spikes, does it? I mean, it's Battle Network. Oh, the X Games, that's true. No! Oh, I'm dead, God damn it! Come on. Oh wait, am I not dead? Where am I? Okay, I'm dead. Damn it! I gotta do the whole level over again. Uh, that's only good if you like happen to miss bottles or something. Oh wait, there's a bunch. Okay, here's the thing. There's a bunch of bottles up there, but I bet you that's just later in the level, rather than something that you could you have to get to right now. I'm just guessing. Because that seems to usually seem to be what happens. But wait, was it X4 or X5 was the one I played as a kid? Because I had one of those for PS1. Um, it's the one that had all the Guns N' Roses. The bosses were named after Guns N' Roses band members. Uh... Well, MacGuffin. Okay, so yeah, I played Mega Man X5, feck. I actually 
I didn't beat it. I beat I I played through most of the game. I made it all the way towards the end. I was uh I think I got stuck on the that game's version of the Yellow Devil. And unfortunately, I didn't have a PS1 memory card. I've ne I never had a PS1 memory card, so I just like stopped after a while, and then I never felt like playing back to that point again. Maybe one day on stream, I'll finish what I started. I need to chill. Oh god. I really thought that was gonna hit me. Stop it! Okay, there's some primo spike nonsense in either 5 or 6, but I have trouble keeping all the PSX games straight in my brain. I'm sure there is. I, I mean, I don't remember a ton about that game, to be honest. I remember the opening, because when I was really little, I couldn't even beat the tutorial level. I think I would get to, like, the boss, and I just couldn't do it. Or maybe I could beat the tutorial, and then after that I got stuck. I don't know, but I that was my first Mega Man game, actually. And I just... it was so hard. And then, later, I got the... Mega Man Classic Collection for GameCube and I played through all of those Mega Man games and then I went back to X5 and that's when I was actually able to like beat the bosses and progress. It's just unfortunate I didn't have a memory card. So I'm sure I would have beat it. I remember near the end uh, one of the last levels in like whatever the Wily Castle equivalent is. It's basically like the laser beams. And uh, I think, is it Quick Man's level? And I remember that being pretty crazy. Whoops. Well, can I go back? Okay. Let's see. Yes, the circle button is basically everything at this point. Light. The little sound effect when you pick up a life is so, uh... So this era of platforming games. We are we're Sly Cooper. Stop. If I went down there and got those clues, how would I get back up to where I was? Zombie servitude? No thanks. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm not dead. Double nice. Oh, they have Metal Slug Anthology for PS4, really? That's cool. I mean, the funny thing is, I mean, one reason why I liked it on the Wii, though, is because you had to shake the Wii Remote to throw grenades, which sounds really annoying, but I actually loved it. I thought it was perfect. Because that way you had a jump button, a shoot button, and then just grenade throw, and you could just have your fingers, like, ready to go on all actions at any moment. And it wasn't that hard to just throw- whoops, I'm dumb. It wasn't actually that hard to just... Um... Throw grenades quickly using that method. Well, I need to get down to those bottles, but this is just gonna kill me, isn't it? Yeah. Damn it. That's not fair. 
I just want my bottles. I don't have a horseshoe. Okay, but this isn't... Okay, I can sacrifice one alert to get through here. I even get this horseshoe. And then... I could just point the camera down. There we go. No! Okay, good. Oof. Maybe I was supposed to get this from lower, down lower. I just didn't realize it. I've been conditioned to think otherwise. Now it's like, how do I get back up? Oh. So I must, I have to die now. It's the law. It's like that meme. Guess I'll die. Look at all the security. This must be the source of all the disgusting green soup. Bentley's like so not down with this place. Like it's so disgusting. I would never go to this place. Yeah, you better flip over whatever that was. Okay, we're only six shy now. A hypochondriac, yeah. Yeah, speaking of Ferris Bueller, that was a uh, Ferris Bueller's friend. What's his name? I can't remember his name, but he was a hypochondriac. Because at the start of the film, he's talking about like he's he's like in bed and he, he's too sick. He can't. He didn't go to school that day. Hey, the last two, perfect. So it was worth going back for those other. Uh, Bottles in front of the waterfall after all. These Cameron, that's right. My okay. The combination has to be five, seven, one. I wonder if you could like oh, yeah, guess the combinations or if it's you need to know them. Suzanne. Water safety. <gasps> water safety. Under your belt, you won't have to waste a charm whenever you fall into water. Dude. Bentley destroyed the cipher with facts and logic. <laughs> Bro, you sure wrecked that cipher, Bentley. Whoops. Good thing I had slow on by chance, because that's not what I meant to do at all. Where's this dang key at? Oh, it's up there. Alright. Weird that this is a spot you could stop at, because we've gotten all the bottles and all that. Wait, I thought I saw the key up there. What the heck did I see? Oh well. Doesn't matter, I guess. Whoops! I can't see... And I'm dead. Oh, I don't need to turn on the... Ability? I thought When he said under your belt, I thought he literally meant you had to have it equipped. But okay, cool. I guess it just means that... You, ju you just have that extra protection now. I like when you have those special ability upgrades. What? 
A ghastly voyage. I thought I said a chastity voyage at first. Oh, twin stick shooter. Oh, no, no. It is a twin stick shooter. It's just in a different perspective. Hell yeah. Oh no, I didn't see him. He was off screen. Yeah, they should maybe zoom out the camera a little bit. Do you like ability upgrades? Well, I have a subgenre of games for you. Well, I just mean in the context of this because it's it's just the fact that we're getting a variety of, God damn it, We're getting a, a variety of different upgrades is more of the point. They're not all just a new triangle attack or triangle trigger or whatever they're coming out of giant freaking totem poles again aren't they I like how part of the boat actually blocks your bullets. <laughs> or does it? Maybe it's just skimming it. I like zoned out and I did not see that other ghost. We're we gonna get to move around now? Okay. This is a nice checkpoint for my no lives. That's one of the things that made Sly 4 kind of underwhelming. They cash in on the time travel idea, and you actually get to team up with a bunch of Sly's ancestors who each have their own special skills. Wait, why is that bad? That actually sounds cool. Are you saying because they nerf Sly so much? Since the ancestors have to all be useful and special. Oh, life. Oh, they almost got me. I need to get these totem poles. Crunchy noise when you're like destroying those bears. It kind of sounds like kind of like digging through sand or gravel or something. Like wet sand. Uh, it's just they cashed in the idea with a disappointing game. You would want them to go all out with the concept like that. Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh boy! Oh, another controller! Jesus, it stopped for a second. That was scary.
Oh, it doesn't crunch from a distance, but they still hit, so that's good. Let's go. Yeah, double O. Dude, double O, you could, you could have played Mario in the new Super Mario Bros. movie. You know the catchphrase and everything. This is dangerous, but whatever. I make the weirdest noises sometimes, don't I? Oh, the key's up there too, so this is the end. Sweet. Give me that key. Seems like they do less damage from a distance, weirdly enough. Yeah, I thought that too. <laughs> wow, I didn't know you spoke Italian. <laughs> yeah, I learned from Charles Martinet. Martinet, as they say in his home country. Hang on. We didn't do all the levels already, did we? Let me see. One more, and then we get to fight the boss, and then we'll, we'll probably wrap up. Wow, we're, we're actually doing it in decent time. Um... Okay, so that's... That's in a different area, right? That's like in the previous area, I think. It looks like it's across a bridge. By an orange house. So this is a bridge. Where, where's the orange house? Oh, it's up there, isn't it? that be yeah that's the level which we still haven't figured out how to get past that barrier wait a minute did I just need enough key no hmm. you're getting Hades vibes from this level I tried destroying all the candles. I'll just do it again just to see. No. That doesn't do the trick. Let's suppose I just need to... That's dangerous. Yep. How the hell do I get up there? Wait a minute. For my oh, so yeah, you don't. Okay, so the purple is probably the candles on the opposite end, which is co the confusing part. They should have just made it a. Oh, and it's another special level. Wow, this this swamps place has had a lot of those. Down home cooking. With all the hay and feathers in here, just looking at this place.
face has got me breaking out in hives. <laughs> but we've got no choice. That ghost over there contacted me on Spectre Wave Radio, and we've cut a deal. Really? He's promised us a key if you can whack 50 What are you, e God? I guess he needs them to make a big pot of gumbo, but he's scared of the bob toting roosters. Be careful, or the bomb toting roosters. Think you can do it? Of course I can. Who do you think I am? I'm just beating up chickens. What if they reduced me to- Oh! Literally roosters come out with bon Okay, now I get it. At first I thought he just meant that in general the chickens were dangerous and I was like, uh, he referred to the chickens as roosters for some reason. Nope. He was being literal. Should have known. Oh my god, that, that's kind of terrifying. I don't know if that's the best way to protect the chickens, roosters. Oh god. Oh, do they only blow up when they touch each other? Oof. Yep. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I have enough time. Okay, now I know what's going on there. This is pretty messed up in a world of animal people. Yes, I agree. each other up. Thank you. Oh no! I dived at a, almost a bad time. They seem to always come out from a... S Damn! I was trying to jump but it was too late. They seem to always come out from the far side so I guess that's a good... Stay away from me. I forgot I asked already, but uh, out of the, the three slide games in the trilogy, do you have a favorite out of the three? Would you say any of them in particular? Or you like, hell yeah, that's the best slide game. I'm just curious. Is it one of those situations where the first game Basically started it, the second game like made improvements, and then the third game was maybe a little not as good, but still good. Because I, th I feel like a lot of games that happens. Or maybe I'm thinking of like movies. Oh! Well. Oh really, you only played this one? Wow. I assumed uh, for some reason that you played all of them, I don't know why. Also, hey Rag. Like, I can't help it. Uh, the ghost is blackmailing us, and if we don't kill 50 chickens, we can't get the key. And we need that key. So we can fight the big alligator lady. At least the roosters are coming out. Oh, there we go. I'd say they're not coming out as frequently, but... Yeah, I feel like this would already be enough of a challenge without the roosters. Because these chickens, man, they don't like standing still, I'll tell you that much. Oh, okay. I'm not used to them coming out that way. Blow each other up, thank you. That really caught me off guard. Yeah, I need more chickens. Please.
Yeah, I don't have time. This is a this is a tricky one. Oh, here come the roosters. Damn. I didn't even get killed by the rooster, it was just... Or maybe I thought you played the other games because you told me that like, I guess, you said there's like Bentley and Murray levels in the later games, right? Oh gosh! Please. Please don't do this to me. Now, the chickens that the roosters blow up, do those count towards my score? I hope so. Oh no! Stuff like this gets me way more than any horror game. Spies! Go to boy! Okay, there we go. chickens Do more Do more Come on come on those roosters are coming Yes Oh you rented it from Blockbuster Yeah Did that forwards charge spin attack you did move faster than running and slashing might be good to spam it Yeah yeah, I think that's what helped me a lot during that last attempt, actually. I've seen series retrospectives and stuff, so I know a bit more about, about the trilogy as a whole. Gotcha. Whoops. That was a weird spot. Alright, I think we just gotta fight the boss now. We're, we're, I think we're going at a pretty good pace. It's literally just... You had the right idea about the candles, it was just on the wrong side. Um, But why would you do that. I guess if you wanted to go do a level you missed back there. Like, we, we've been taking about two hours per world, I think. This one actually took us less. The last one took us longer. So now I just need to step on this. Steam pressure. Okay, that's not what I expected that to look like at all, but... This boss fight should be easy for you. Uh-oh. Don't set expectations. The Cooper vibe. Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. You an army of ghosts in a very neighborly pastime. Is she dancing? And floating. But all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well, if jaws need to flop, then let them flop. Okay. See you in the next world, Slack Koopa. What you doing? Oh, it's rhythm? My controller is not working conveniently. Great timing, am I right? There we go. Jesus. Right. So something about the HD port you said made this boss fight really hard because of some issue. Can't tell if she hit me or if I hit her. You can't run away forever. Quite true. Quite true. Why don't I have my servant Chumley escort you Chumley. over here? Oh, what's the catch? Oh, not much. Is Chumley the snake? Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. 
attention. What do you mean? Well, what do you mean? He's he's not taking any of this nonsense. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. Simon says. If not, you'll get set. <laughs> A little voodoo, Simon says, huh? Oh well, there Sounds we go. Oh my god. Oh, the controller stopped working. God damn it. Damn it. Sorry. Let me, uh. Oh wow, at least they start to restart you right here. That's nice. I need to, uh, let me mess with this wire real quick. <sighs> Don't move. Yeah, Prop of the Ropper, Space Channel 5, yeah. You know, I never played Prop of the Ropper. Yeah, this is a pretty cool boss fight. That first one came really fast, Jesus. One mistake. The tempo changes are just completely broken in the a HD collection. Oh. oh no, all the way at the start? Damn, it was literally at the end. That sucks. I can't believe I made one mistake in the whole thing and that's... That was it. No, I, I feel... Sorry, I was looking at the chat. I, I feel the same way, Rag, honestly. 
the visual like cue of the of the uh projectile doesn't seem to match the music completely for me either i don't know if it's because i'm it's i'm emulating this because it's sometimes it's hard for me to tell if i should go by the audio cue cue or by the visual cue i mean even in this i don't know it, it might be because i also there's like a little bit of input lag ah you can't skip this that's bad. You should really be able to skip this. I'm literally trying to see if there's a way to fast forward. A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. There we go. I should just do the play. Yeah. I have the volume turned up kind of loud now, so- Oh, damn it! Sorry. So sorry if you guys hear, uh, any echo. But it's it's a lot better this way. Someone opened the door, and so they screwed me up. And that's my explanation for that. Like, she's not going in rhythm with the notes exactly, which that's what kind of throws me off sometimes. Now I'm just thinking, I'm I'm thinking about the rhythm. Like, there are parts where the rhythm doesn't match, and when I stop and think about it, it throws me off. But I, I shouldn't distract myself like that, I should just do it. Like, I shouldn't have said anything right there. Like right here, it's like... This part 
She's really off beat. It's weird. This is just, I... To me, that's not going with the music at all. Okay. Okay, I definitely was hitting those buttons. I don't know if the controller unplugged there. God, ugh. I I know I didn't miss those. Especially not those two in a row. I'm gonna try my best to like keep really still. Okay, that was my fault. I should probably shouldn't look at the chat. Oh my god. Um. There's like Rag said I have a wireless controller that kept dropping inputs every two minutes. Oh, you replaced it with a wire. That's the thing. I'm using a wired controller. I preferred wired controllers. The problem is my USB ports just are really, really loose or something. They have some problem where. If you just barely touch a wire. Uh, if you barely touch any of the wires, they'll get disconnected. It's like really, really bad. Like, it happens to my mic, it happens to my controllers. Thank you. 
So when she goes out of sync with the music, it mixes me up because I don't know whether to go in rhythm with her or the music, but I think it's always the music. Except right here, I have no idea what's going on. I don't know why that first triangle hit me like way back on that first or so whatever attempt it was when I almost beat it first time. There really is no honor among thieves. All they as soon as they get beat, they snitch out another one of them. Uh, Sly, your mouth kept moving. Sly, why do you have such a strong chin in that drawing? In common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of Zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. Dang. While the gang and I the production of zombies, it sounds like it's a Broadway play. Working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Something. Alright, we we did that. I really, really like the idea of that boss fight. I think it was just my controller problems mostly, unfortunately. But no, there definitely were parts where she was not on beat with the music. She was like off, and those parts also, if I like focused on it too much, would mix me up. But for most of it, it was really just you just follow the music. Um, I think the only annoying part regarding the checkpoints is just if you run out of lives and then you have to uh, you have to do watch the whole her speech over again. Yeah, we're gonna wrap up. Two more worlds to go, so that's cool. Um. So this game's been fun. I'm glad I've been playing it. So I'm gonna sign off now. Thank you guys for joining. Hope you have a good weekend. Catch you later. Peace out.